Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between slides in your presentation. So go ahead and open up your presentation that you want to play with. Now there's two different ways to do it. The first one is to actually click on a slide itself. So you bring up the little toolbar and click transition. And then it gives you your list of transitions. The other way to do it, click done, is to just go ahead, it doesn't matter which slide you have selected, but you go ahead and click uh, the wrench tool here and click on transitions and builds. And then it does it gives you the same exact thing. But now um, the only difference is when you click at that, you can actually go in and edit. See how it's got the blue bar across the top? That's just showing you that you're able to add an animation, transition, uh, different builds to things. So from affecting how an image works to adding a transition between the things. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do transitions. So when you have that selected, it's going to when it's going to show you that none is on there. But this one, see how it's got on the left hand side on number four I'm talking about? See how it's got that little yellow triangle on the bottom right? That indicates to you that there is a transition there. So if we click there, it said I already got a dissolve transition. And you can go through and click that to change it. But let's go ahead and add a transition to this first one. So it has none there. Click, click that. And you've got a ton of different options for magic move, blinds, confetti, dissolve. Let's, so let's show you how some of these work. So let's go click on droplet. And then you can click play. And it shows you a little droplet. You can go through, do a flop. Let's see how that looks. Like a page flopping down. Let's look at mosaic. Let's see how that looks. See, that looks pretty cool. So now you can click on, after you've found the effect that you want, and there's a lot of different cool, let's say what twirl looks like first. Okay, see, I like how that transitions to the next slide. So now you can go under, make it a little bit more detailed, is click on options. And duration is literally how long it's going to play for. So before it was at like a minute and a half. So now let's try it at three and a half seconds, play it. So it's nice and slow. And that's good if you're, if you're, let's say, you have a, a transition where you, you're speaking about a specific thing and you want it to transition as you're kind of doing it. And then you could, on this specific effect, you could actually turn it to counterclockwise. So now it's going to spin the up opposite way. It doesn't really change much, but it just kind of just, you can really dial it in on how you want to do it. And then the start transition is, you could do it on the tap. So when you're actually going through your presentation, when you tap it, it's actually that's what will cause the transition to kick in or you can hit previous after previous transition and so when you do that see how it, it turns the delay from active to to non so when you click on after transition so let's say when you're the only reason you want to do this is if you really got a timing of this presentation so you're going to one thing and you just want like a, a an image to pop up then you can have it set up so you don't have to sit there and click click or keep tapping your to do the next transition you can just put a delay on there so let's say you got a minute and a half delay so let's play this and so it's autumn after a, after a second and a half it automatically did the transition for me I didn't have to tap the screen at all and so that's kind of it for that one see how that now that one's twirl and see how like I was saying before it's got that yellow uh, triangle in the bottom right corner now let's click this one now let's click this one. Let's go ahead and add another transition. Go back to effects. Let's do the wipe. Let's see how that looks. Just kind of wiped it off. I don't really. Let's try to sparkle. Okay, cool. So now, now you can do that, and then that, that went really fast. So you can kind of change the duration, and then you could kind of move around how it actually does it. So let's do the opposite there. And see how it kind of did the sparkle with the text from the next slide you can do it the up way so let's try that so it's kind of like a sparkle of the text so if you had an image on that one it, it would also do the same exact thing so that's basically it for adding transitions like I was saying before you can do it from double actually hitting that and click transition or you can go ahead and Click the wrench tool and add transitions builds that way. So if you have any questions, make sure you email us at info at your Mac helpers or uh, go to our website, yourmachelpers.com and click the help tab. Thanks.